Back in 1867, it was thanks to the hard work and productivity of its farmers that the Nebraska Territory was deemed ready to become the nation's 37th state. When Nebraska was a territory, Omaha had served as its capital. But after statehood, a town called Lancaster to the southeast was chosen instead and renamed Lincoln. But it took three tries for Nebraska to build itself a new statehouse. The first two capitals had to be torn down because of structural problems. In 1920, the state held a national design competition. The winning plans promised to make Nebraska stand out from the other 36 states that had come before it. It was the first state capital in the nation that did not follow the common neoclassical designs used by other states. And for the U.S. Capitol in Washington, D.C., Nebraska's state house was designed to look like an office tower instead of a Roman temple. Finished in 1932, it stands 400 feet tall and is capped by a dome of mosaic tiles. On top is a statue known as the Sower, an iconic figure sowing seeds to celebrate Nebraska's rich agricultural heritage. Today, Lincoln is a thriving city of just over a quarter million, thanks in large part to its university. Just two years after statehood, the University of Nebraska was founded here in downtown Lincoln. Its new hall and library soon towered over the plains. Sports are serious business for U of N students, but you won't find anyone running on this track on the west side of campus. That's because it's for farm machines, not people. It's part of a facility called the Tractor Test Lab. It was established in the 1920s to protect consumers from false advertising claims made by tractor manufacturers. Today, lab workers use this track to run new models of American tractors through their paces and ensure they meet tough international standards. Once they receive a stamp of approval from the U of N, they're allowed to be sold in countries around the world. Today, tractors are high-tech tools. Whether they're planting or harvesting, many models are guided almost entirely by GPS technology that helps make modern-day farming one of the most efficient industries in the country and creates fields lined with perfectly planted rows of crops. 